Hi, it's me, Kylie. And today, we're making a mess. Paint popping, paint bubbling, paint pouring. For our first messy craft today, we're using soap and bubbles. Not something you usually think of as being messy, but we can do it. We're just gonna add some paint. Now, however much paint you put in the cup, put that amount of dish soap in each one. Then add some water. Now give those a stir. color you want to start with. I'm going to start with blue. Then grab a straw, put it in. Don't drink it. You're going to blow it out like you're blowing up a balloon or like you're blowing a bubble. Ready? Look! <gasps> wow! As the bubbles travel across the paper, they'll pop and leave their cool bubble print. What do you think will happen if I use three straws at one time? Let's try it. <laughs> I'm gonna move these cups all over and blow more and more bubbles until I have a masterpiece. I could do this all day. I learned so much about what colors mixed together made other colors, and I made some beautiful colors in this messy, soapy painting. Here, the red and blue mixed together to make purple. Here, yellow and blue mixed together to make green. And I'm gonna have some really cool paintings at the end because as the bubbles on the paper, they're gonna leave behind a paint bubble trail. So awesome. Are you ready for our next messy painting? We're gonna do a paint pour. To the studio! Welcome to the studio! That was so much fun making messy bubble paint paintings with you. I can't wait to see them when they're dry. While we wait, we're gonna make our next messy activity, and this is paint pouring. There's kits that you can buy at a lot of craft stores that have different pouring mediums. Mediums just means something that you add to paint to make it do something special. In this case, the pouring medium that we're going to be using that we need for pour painting is to thin the paint out without thinning out the pigment. The pigment is the part of the paint that is the color. So you can buy a kit that comes with special paint and special paint pouring mediums, but today I'm not gonna be using a kit. I'll show you my favorite things to use for paint pouring. First, I just use acrylic craft paint. Then. From the hardware store, I buy a big jar of Floetrol. This thins down old house paint, but it will also thin down our acrylic paint perfectly. Then you're gonna want to add some clear oil. You don't have to do this part, but it helps make the cool little cells and bubbles that we're gonna find. Experiment with different kinds of oil. Silicone, mineral oil, baby oil. You can try all kinds of things. 
try to go for a clear oil so that it won't interfere with the pigment, the color of the paint. Some of them smell a little stronger than others, so if you're using a stinky one, make sure to open a window, turn on a fan. That's it. The only other things you need are a canvas. I got a little bit of paint accidentally on this one, but that's fine that this is messy because we're making messy art. You're gonna need a bunch of cups, popsicle sticks, and some water. Ready to pour? Start by putting some paint in your cup. You don't need as much as you think you're going to. Next, you're gonna add in your Floetrol or your pouring medium. I do about the same amount of Floetrol as I did for paint in each cup. Now, you're gonna start stirring your paint up. Mix it with your pouring medium really well. Once your pouring medium and your paint are mixed together, we're gonna add some water. This is not an exact science, so that's fun because you get to experiment, which just means you try something, notice what happens, and then try something else. Notice what happens and learn each time so that you can make the exact kind of painting you want to make next time. Once your paint is good and stirred up, you get to add your oil. I'm gonna be using silicone. I'm gonna start by flipping my canvas over and putting push pins in the four corners to hold it up off of the paint mess once we start pouring. Okay, there we go. I like to start by covering my whole canvas in white. This helps the other paint move around when I pour it on. There's lots of ways we can pour paint from here, lots of different ways to experiment with, but we're gonna do the messiest one today because we're being messy. I'm gonna put all the different colors into one cup, starting with white. Ready? A little yellow, a little blue, more yellow, more blue, a little bit of white, and the littlest bit of orange. Right there. Now, I'm gonna pick up my canvas, put it on top of my cup, and one, two, three! Now, I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. <laughs> Are you ready to pull this cup back, make a big mess, and a poor painting? Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three! <gasps> You can move it around a little bit if you want. And look at all the different designs that form. I'm just going to bring the blue cup and run it right over. Whoa. What if I took a popsicle stick and drew a design in? Oh yeah. needs more yellow if you ask me. Keep experimenting with this messy painting until you get some paintings that you really love. And you know what? Even if you don't get paintings that you really love, you still had a really good time. Are you ready for our last very, very messy painting? It's super fun and I'm so excited to do it. I've wanted to try this for a long time. We are going to pop paint balloons with darts onto a canvas. I can't wait. Let's go. Time to get our paint popping canvas ready. Here is how to make a paint balloon. Here's what you need. Balloons, water, cups. I'm using washable paint and a pump. I got this one from some hand soap. First, you're gonna pour a little bit of paint in each cup. Yellow, green, black, white, red, blue. Ooh! 
Now add a little bit of water to each cup. Stir them up. Now that the paint is watered down a little bit, take your balloon and your pump and pick your first color. Let's put yellow and yellow. Makes sense to me. Put your pump in the paint, put your balloon on the end of the pump, and pump. Once there's some paint, you're gonna blow up your balloon. Be very careful not to drink the paint. That would be bad. This is non-toxic paint, but still, that would not taste good. You might want an adult to help you with this part. Just blow it up a little bit. Do you see the paint in there? Cool, then tie your balloon. And repeat until you have as many balloons as you want to pop. <laughs> now that our balloons are all filled up, I'm gonna pin them to our canvas. Now that our canvas is ready, our paint brushes. Today we're using darts. Ready? All right, let's do it. Woo! Yes. That one got me. <laughs> Okay, how many are left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. We got this. Look, I went all the way around this blue one without hitting it. I'll get it this time. This is it, I can feel it. This is it, I can feel it. Now that we popped all of our balloons, let's take the balloons off so we can see the painting underneath. This is one beautiful mess. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dry. What a great messy day we've had together. And we made some really exciting art. I love how everything turned out. Do you wanna see it? Okay, let's start with the bubbles. Here's three of my favorites. This is a big red bubble blob with a little bit of blue down here and some yellow and light blue. And there's some darker red spots and some lighter red spots. So interesting. I love this one because it shows how the red bubble and the blue bubble blended together to make some purple bubbles. So cool. And then there's this one, which is just a bunch of blobs. It's messy, and I love that because we had a messy art day. There's green and red, some blue, purple, yellow, all the colors are on this one. Next, let's look at our pour painting. This is how it turned out. I love it. Which way do you think it should go? Vertically? up and down, or horizontally, across. That's something that we get to decide as artists, which way our paintings go. Mm, I think I like it this way. Ooh, or maybe this way. It looks like a sunrise over the ocean, maybe. Cool. What's your favorite part? I love that. And last but not least, let's look at our messiest painting, maybe. Our paint balloons that we popped. Look at these! Wow! These are amazing. I love how all the different colors mix together. And I love how you can see which direction they were hanging by the way that the lines go. Well, as always, I had a great time making things with you today. Our paintings, even though they weren't 
precise and perfect were beautiful. And the mystery of where the paint would go was so much fun and so much fun to see at the end when they were all dry, wasn't it? If you want to make more things with me, just search for Kylie Makes It and you'll find lots of videos on YouTube. Your parent, your grown-up, could also follow me on Instagram and Facebook and find out more things about Kylie Makes It and what we have going on. And I have resources for educators and parents too at KylieMakesIt.com. Check it out. See you soon.